A Reminiscence of the Back Settlements by Mark Twain now that corpse said the undertaker patting the folded hands of the deceased approvingly was a brick every way you took him he was a brick he was so real accommodating and so modest like and simple in his last moment friends wanted metallic burial case nothing else would do i couldn't get it there weren't going to be time anybody could see that the corpse said never mind shake him up some kind of box he could stretch out in comfortable he wasn't particular about the general style of it said he went more on room than style anyway in the final container friends wanted a silver door plate on the coffin signifying who he was and where he was from now you know a fellow can't roust out such a gaily thing as that in a little country town like this what did the corpse say corpse said white wash his old canoe and daub his address and general destination onto it with a blacking brush and a stencil plate long with the verse of some likely hymn or other and pint him at the tomb and mark him c o d and just let him skip along he weren't distressed any more than you be on the contrary just as calm and collected as a hearse horse said he judged that where he was going a body would find it considerable better to attract attention by a picturesque moral character than a natty burial case with a swell door plate on it splendid man he was i'd rather do for a corpse like that than any i've tackled in seven years there's some satisfaction in burying a man like that you feel that what you're doing is appreciated lord bless you so he got planted before he spoilt he was perfectly satisfied said his relations meant well perfectly well but all them preparations was bound to delay the thing more or less and he didn't wish to keep laying around you never see such a clear head as what he had and so calm and so cool just a hunk of brains that is what he was perfectly awful it was a ripping distance from one end of that man's head to t'other often and over again he had brain fever a raging in one place and the rest of the pile didn't know anything about it didn't affect it any more than an engine insurrection in arizona affects the atlantic states well the relations wanted a big funeral but corp said he was down on flummery didn't want any procession fill the hearst full of mourners and get out a stern line and tow him behind he was the most down on style of any remains i ever struck a beautiful simple-minded creature it was what he was you can depend on that he was just set on having things the way he wanted them and he took a solid comfort in laying his little plans he had me measure him and take a whole raft of directions then he had a minister stand up behind a long box with a tablecloth over it and read his funeral sermon saying encore encore at the good places and making him scratch out every bit of brag about him and all the highfalutin and then he made him trot out the choir so he could help him pick out the tunes for the occasion and he got him to sing pop goes the weasel because he'd always liked that tune when he was downhearted and solemn music made him sad and when they sung that with tears in their eyes because they all loved him and his relations grieving around he just laid there as happy as a bug and trying to beat time and showing all over how much he enjoyed it and presently he got worked up and excited and tried to join in for mind you he was pretty proud of his abilities in the singing line but the first time he opened his mouth and was just going to spread himself his breath took a walk i never saw a man snuffed out so sudden ah it was a great loss it was a powerful loss to this poor little one-horse town well 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 i hain't got time to be palaverin along here got to nail on the lid and mosey along with him and if you'll give me a lift we'll skeet him into the hearse and meander along relations bound to have it so don't pay no attention to dying instructions minute a corpse is gone 
but if i had it my way if i didn't respect his last wishes and tow him behind the hearse i'll be cussed i consider that whatever a corpse wants done for his comfort is a little enough matter and a man hain't got no right to deceive him or take advantage of him and whatever the corpse trusts me to do i'm a-gonna do you know even if it's to stuff him and paint him yeller and keep him for a keepsake you hear me he cracked his whip and went lumbering away with his ancient ruin of a hearse and i continued my walk with a valuable lesson learned that a healthy and wholesome cheerfulness is not necessarily impossible to any occupation the lesson is likely to be lasting for it will take many months to obliterate the memory of the remarks and the circumstances that impressed it the end of a reminiscence of the back settlements by mark twain